character of the show. She's hilarious. She's funny. She gives good interviews. Um, she knows how to talk about the challenge and everything. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Hold on, time out. Time out. Your audio was off that whole time. I just got your audio on. <laughs> the whole bottom tier. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? Man. That's kind of okay. We're only a couple minutes into it. Everybody got you now. Oh, man. oh, they were blowing hey guys, us up too. Up? Oh, we got to start turning our notifications on. That's two times in a row. Fucking amateur night, man. But <laughs> Malik's trying to steal this whole show from me. <laughs> This is oh, the Malik show. Right you know now. what it is? It's me asking questions and just mad long pauses. Oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> Here, you know what? You know what? Let me give a let me give a quick rundown of what they missed. All right, I go give ahead. a quick rundown. Yeah, quick rundown. You guys saw the bottom tier and everything. Um, this is the people that aren't performing, and Josh is who we highlighted. My opinion on Josh is that he's kind of like a robot at this point. He's not bringing much to us. He's just kind of there. If Rogan wasn't around. I don't even know if any of us would even believe he was on the show. Uh, he's got to step up, you know. Uh, his alliance did what they needed to do, at least, to get D in the tribunal. Uh, but outside of that, he's just been hidden. And that's all you got to miss from the bottom tier. <laughs> that is it. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into your number 15 spot. Number 15, you got Ashley. We've been we've been seeing more and more of her every week. And she's actually coming to a very, very re respected, respectful road. Row when she talked, people tend to listen. We seen her lose a little bit of power because Lover kind of pressed her and she folded. Uh, what are some of the reasons you got her smack dab in the middle at number 15? She moves down a little bit because while they were still trying to throw the challenge, you never know, you could still win it. And the fact that she quit almost covered up them throwing a challenge for a little bit, it did until everybody started figuring out what's going on. But her quitting is her biggest issue. She's done it two other times. She did it on Dirty 30, and she did it on um, uh, what's uh, Champs versus Stars, season two. She quit. And if she keeps up with this thing, you know, it's a bad habit. And if she doesn't break it, she might quit next episode, for all we know, because somebody did something that she didn't like. Uh, so all that's right. why she's in the middle. So when Laurel pressed her, she folded like a lawn chair. Do you think there's anybody else? Do you think there's anybody else left in the game that can actually apply that kind of pressure to Ashley anymore? I think everybody could because um, not necessarily that it's applying pressure, but Ashley is so scared of getting sent home. I mean, she talks a big game that she's a millionaire and she's made more money than anybody else, and she's good in eliminations, but she still doesn't like to be talked about as much as she you know wants to. That's who. She person so if anybody's gonna tell her i'll save you she's gonna jump ship immediately we talked about this before her girls and shane are not around so she has to leech on to somebody else all right let's go ahead and talk about the man of the hour your number 12 spot you got josh josh has been running this game from jump he has a whole he has this whole entire cast this whole entire season in the palm of his hands how fucking dare you Put him at number 12. He should be one, maybe number two. Yeah. He's running this whole thing. Big brother takeover. And and back to reality. Here we are. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Josh, Mr. I ain't got no game. Uh, um, it's just, he's just, he's just there. That's the problem I have. Um, once you see somebody have an emotional breakdown once or twice, it's kind of old news and everything. And he's just, he's just there. He's George's little puppy dog. She's stringing him along when she wants comfort when Bear is off with another girl. And he's getting played and he doesn't realize it. Or he realizes it and that's even worse. Um, he's also Banana's little puppy dog where Bananas tells him what to do and he just does it. Uh, my biggest issue right now and the reason why he's not in the top 10 is because he doesn't seem to think for himself. And that's what's separating him right now. From everything, I don't watch Big Brother. I, I don't really care about Big Brother. Um, if people are Big Brother fans, that's okay. You can like that show. From what I heard, though, he didn't just like kind of, you know, take reins of everything. He kind of followed somebody in that show, too, from what I heard, until it was time for him to step up. So hopefully we're going to see some more from him like we did last week. Well, Josh has been carrying this whole season from jump. I mean, how dare you? even say anything like that. That's probably my biggest fuck out of here moment right now. Um, 
<laughs> what is something Josh could do that would completely just blow your mind? Like if Josh did this, and it completely changed how you feel about him and how you view him and how he would be viewed as a competitor on this season. Um, well, uh, what seemed to get everybody liking him is when he, you know, was the second fiddle at getting West sent home. So maybe he gets another top dog out of there. Maybe he goes for Zach or Turbo or Jordan or Bananas. Maybe he goes for one of those guys that are supposed to be better than him and he sends them into elimination and gets them sent home. You know, if he can do that again, showing that he's not just like a, a lucky shot and he's actually a cerebral assassin, he'll stay in the top 10 for a long time. All right. So before we get into this top tier, um, one of the things that took that took center stage this uh, this episode was all of the politicking going on, mainly Laurel and her, her little fucking notebook. That little notebook. I, I mean, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even think they allowed paper and shit on the challenge. Uh, what did you make of all of the politics and who do you think really won this exchange? Um, well, L- Laurel won the exchange politicking. Um, that notebook, every time she brings it out, it works. She did it back on free agents and got Devin to, to jump on her side and everything. And she just, instead of talking, she understands that people are more susceptible to reading something and then taking it in. So she puts it on paper. You're not my target. But if you don't vote with me, you will be. And she got Ashley to jump. And once she got Ashley to jump, it was in the bag. She knows what she's doing when she politics. All right. So the politicking did initially seem to work. How did you feel about the whole house being turned on the ninja uh, in the 11th hour? Because she looked like she got completely blindsided. I felt like she should have seen it coming, at least to some degree. But she looked totally surprised. Uh, how, how do you feel? I mean, I, I think she got done dirty, got done very dirty. She actually did. There's something we're going to agree on today is that she did get done dirty. Um, Team USA is just, they're playing this game so sloppy. If you want to send somebody in, like Ninja is the perfect example, just say, we've all been friends longer than you. We've done seasons together. You're the rookie on the team. Sorry, you have to go in. And at that point, Ninja is just going to go, okay, sounds good. And she's not going to be pissed. For some reason, they decided to piss her off, and they decided to piss off Ev- Cam and Kara and Ashley, and I thought it was stupid. Um, she was done dirty. She doesn't deserve to be in there, but she is the rookie, so I do understand putting her in. All right. Let's go ahead and move into this top tier. All right, so top tier goes like this. Number 10, Pauly. Nine, Kara. Funny how they're usually pretty close like that. Number 8, CT. 7, Cam. 6, Theo. 5, Kyle. 4, Ninja. 3, Georgia. 2, Bananas. And 1, we got Bear. Let's go ahead and start a little bit closer to the bottom. CT coming in at number 8. He, you know, he, he tried to play a neutral, but he, he, he got a little bit of a jump, this, you know, this episode. What made you jump him up so high and get him into that top 10? Um, what moved him up is the fact that um, he got plenty of TV time. He was the center of drama that Team UK had, where he had to make a decision. Um, and he chose wisely, I believe, uh, by picking D over Kyle. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but then on top of that, you know, I fully believe the reason why Team UK went up the left side and avoided the water was probably through CT. Anything they do strategically in a daily, I'm going to assume is from CT. So I'm just going to sit here and say, you know what? He's just like you and I. He predicted USA is going to implode. And on top of that, he's being, you know, the daddy needs to be. and He's leading his his kids up the hill. So. Yes, he, uh, he's really grown into this elder statesman role. And some people have accused him of being a little bit boring, but I think he's just playing the game a lot smarter this time around. He's tired of getting kicked out for, you know, being aggressive and drunk and fighting. He can't do that anymore, you know? It's, it's smart to take the middle role for so long. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the number four spot. We got Ninja Natalie. She won a, I mean, this elimination was was something else. Um, you know, it, it looked neck and neck, at least the way it was edited. People said it was a lot closer. It came down to really Laurel trying to get away with cheating. She knew she didn't have the peg when she threw it mm-hmm. in there. 
uh, Ninja realized yeah. that, they, you know, it, it was really, really crazy at the end. They played it really cool. It was very suspenseful. You really didn't know which way it was going to go, but Ninja was able to get it done. What are some of the other factors that got into the number four spot? Um, so winning an elimination, especially when you're called by your own team, always boosts you up. But on top of that, you know, we actually got to see her alliance. You know, we know she's aligned with Polly because of that she's aligned with Kara. But now more words coming out that, you know, she's aligned with Cam, which means she's aligned with Kaylee, which means she's aligned with Boss and Rogan. She's more connected than we've, you know, ever known her to be. This was a check of reality. And she got this mental check where she looks ready to go. And she's actually going to step up and become a challenger and not just a performer. Um, so essentially, it's just a combination of everything. Great interviews, great camera time, great drama, and she won an elimination. Like, she was involved in all of it. Absolutely. The Ninja Natalie Glow Up is definitely something dope. Now, let's go ahead and move it to the number one spot, which is uh, by far is going to be my biggest fuck out of here moment. Uh, you got Stephen Bear at yeah. number one and um, uh, Bananas at number two. Um, <laughs> just, just go. Why is he number one? Jesus Christ. Okay, so so real quick, because I feel like a lot of people are going to start commenting, delete, and get rid of, or they're mad or whatever. People got to understand, these things carry over from last week. So Bear was number two last week, and then this week, his team won. He got plenty of drop TV time. He was, you know, spending plenty of time with Laurel, hooking up with her. Then he was hooking up with Georgia the next night. Um, overall, he got everything in this episode. I keep saying it. he is who MTV wants to back and follow. Um, and it's he's just getting plenty of camera time. So essentially, not enough people did enough to move into the top three. And he was already at number two and Laurel got axed. So he just automatically moves up one spot due to situation. So because he boned Georgia, he gets the number one spot. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you get it on with Georgia, hey, you're number one in my book too. Is, is that really the main thing that pushed him over? No, but it's uh, it's not necessarily hooking up, but it's just the fact that he was showcased. Every every time they came back from a commercial break, you could almost see Bear within the first 30 seconds. He was always on our TV screens tonight, more than anybody else, next to the guy that was you know second on this list. No doubt. I mean, being number one is always going to be the hardest. What is it that Bear is going to have to do to make sure that he stays number one and keep everybody else claiming for that top spot away? He's got to not piss off Georgia. Um, potentially him making Georgia mad can blow up everything. Uh, he seems to have, you know, cracked his first, you know, uh, tally by getting rid of Wes. He's gotten Georgia back with him, so he's built up his alliance. He's just got to keep his mouth shut a little bit and keep performing like, you know, like he has been. And he's been performing almost better than anybody else in Team UK uh, outside probably of Theo on most of these. All right. Who is it? Is, all right. So who does Bear have to worry about? going forward who is his biggest threat who his biggest threat uh it's got to be uh team jogan because you know uh joss and joss and rogan don't want him there they want to take over the whole you know team and everything uh d and kaylee they don't get along with him which means cam doesn't really maybe you know favor him he's got enemies on both sides he's just gotta he's just gotta put up a shield and deflect deflect but It'll be interesting to see if Team UK starts imploding like Team USA. Facts. All right. That's going to do it for the hit list today. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys for sticking with us through the uh, the audio <laughs> problems uh, second week in a row. We're going to make sure we have that ironed out for next week. Make sure you visit us at shop.lovewarchallenges.com for all your hit list, Love War Challenges, and Challenge gear. Make sure you visit the website at lovewarchallenges.com. That's going to close us out. We're out of here, guys. Peace. See you next week. Peace.